Uh, I'm going to show you a quick demo of IronCAD uh, and why I like uh, the program so much. So what I've just done is I took one of their IntelliShapes from the catalog and drug it onto the screen and dropped it. So now that begins my part. And here, by clicking on it, I can get the handles and I can type in the dimensions of the block that I, that I want. And by grabbing the one handle, I'm telling the system that this is the side that I want to be moved and not both sides. So that is my block set to two and a half by four inches by one inch. Now I'm going to do a shell. I'm going to set the shell thickness all the way around to 0.125 and I'm going to open the face, the top face, so that's not, that leaves a shell. And that's my shell part. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cylinder in the center of this block to act as a post. So I go to my cylinder in my catalog, drag it, and drop it right to the center. You'll see that there's a center indicator for the block. Now I'm going to change the radius to 0.75 and I'm going to now change the height of this. Now I can type this information in or I can use the shift key and just touch this, the edge and now it matches the, the side distance. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hole in this cylinder so I go to the catalog for the H cylinder shape, drag that, find the center of the hole again, and adjust my distance to 0.5. And this time, as you can see, the hole goes all the way through. But what I want to do is I want to make that hole stop at the bottom of the part. I'm going to use the shift key. When I drag this up, you'll see it highlights. I let it go, and now you'll see that that hole is at the bottom of the, of the cylinder. What I'm also going to do now is to take a block and I'm going to make a web go from side to side. So I take this block and you can see that I can actually get to the bottom center of the hole again and then using the, my control key to, to touch both handles that tells it to move both handles simultaneously as opposed to from one side or the other. Now I'm going to take the top and again moving that a little bit allows me to tell it I'm going to make that 0.6 and it'll move it from the top down not from the bottom up. Now taking these edges using the shift key I just grab that face and now that edge I made it. And If I take the cylinder or the handle again just holding the shift key and now I've got but you'll notice this bar, this web, goes through the hole, and that's not what I wanted, although it did make it easier for me to build it by it being able to grab the bottom of the hole right in the center of the block. What I now want to do is I want to rearrange the history, the order in which I've constructed the, uh, the part to take the block, and I now want to move that north of the cylinder so it looks like the cylinder was done before the block. And as you can see now, the web stops at the edges of the cylinder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a blend and I want to use 0.125 for my blend and I want to do that surface, that surface, that one, and that one. And you'll see that we've now blended the inside of the web. But I want to check out the corners here so let me do another blend and we'll use the same dimension and we'll do a blend there, blend there. This works pretty much like the other modelers where you can click on the corners and get the blend. And say OK to that. And we'll do the outside corners to cut that down and here we're going to make the blend 0.2 and we're, the geometry is going to be the edges and I'm just holding down the mouse wheel and turning it which is rotating the part and now I've just blended the outside edges and that's pretty much it for the part uh, but I wanted to show you that if you do click on the blends you can actually see that you can adjust each individual blend differently than the other blends 
and that's pretty much it without me talking this would have taken probably about three minutes maybe a little under maybe a little over I think I've I've done this in under three minutes before and uh, the second part of this is I want to take this part and bring it over to the detailing engine to show you how it can be detailed thank you